the X-Men team over at Fox really wants their franchises to cross over with the MCU. I mean, who wouldn't, right? <laughs> X-Men producers recently discussed their desire to see an Avengers and X-Men crossover on the big screen, but that isn't all they're hoping to tackle. Deadpool director Tim Miller has revealed his want of a Deadpool slash Spider-Man crossover. Awesome, right? <laughs> The best part of all is that he and producer Simon Kinberg have already been laying the groundwork for such a venture to be made. He goes on to say, We have been trying to build bridges, says Kinberg. He adds that the deals between Sony and Marvel may already be underway. He says, With all of the deals that have recently started happening, we asked if we could get visitation rights to Sony's friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. I would love to see it. Both of us are close with Kevin Feige. We respect and love Kevin. If it were even remotely possible, we will find a, a way, because we'd love to see it. <coughs> While a crossover may be in the realm of possibility, it may be more difficult than you would think. Though. A crossover featuring the Merc with the Mouth would mean Deadpool would be a character in Marvel's cinematic universe, as well as Spider-Man, who is already on loan from Sony. That's three studios trying to, b to build one cohesive nar narrative on top of an already complicated setup. Unfortunately, this may not be as likely as most of us would hope. You can get a good look at the new Spider-Man played by Tom Holland in Captain America Civil War on May 6th and Bring Home Deadpool on May 10th. So, like, this is like my dream scenario because I freaking love Deadpool, I love Spider-Man, I love X-Men. Like, those three are, like, what I grew up on. Those are, like, my favorite, like, oh, so much love for Spider-Man. <laughs> So much love for Deadpool, X-Men, all of it. Like, if you could cross that over, I mean, it's amazing. Like, I'm split, though, because just, like, having them all in the same movie would be awesome. Having Deadpool in Avengers and having Spider-Man in, in the X-Men movies or Spider-Man and Deadpool team up. I mean, it'd just be, like, like the Merc with the Mouth going against Spider-Man who's cracking jokes and one-liners back and forth, and they're just going at each other. Like, that would be amazing. But, at the same time, I love that, that Spider-Man is owned by Sony, and that X-Men is owned by Fox, because that means you get so many movies out in one year. Like, like this year, we have, let's see if I can name them all, we have Deadpool, we have Batman vs. Superman, we have um, uh, Captain America Civil War, we have... We have X-Men Apocalypse coming out, we have Suicide Squad, we have Doctor Strange. I mean, all those movies in one year. I mean, that is amazing. How awesome is that? It's because all these different properties, you got some owned by Warner Brothers, some owned by Marvel, some owned by Fox, some owned by Sony, and so we're able to have all these movies come out, and it's just like a, like a treat for all the fans. Like, it's just, it's, it's awesome that we can get that many movies in one year. Like, I've always been a huge comic book fan. But, I mean, when I was a kid, back in the 80s, 90s, it shows you how old I am, but I like, always thought that if I let everybody know how much I love these, these comic book characters and, and like, just my love for Spider-Man and X-Men and all that stuff, it's like, I'd get made fun of, I'd get beat up, like, it's just not cool, like, it's just not, I don't know, it's not the cool thing to like that kind of stuff. And now, a days, like, it is the cool thing. You can go to Comic-Con, where literally thousands of people who are all interested in the exact same thing you are, they dress up, they have celebrities that are, in, are into all this kind of comic book stuff. Like, you can just, like, feel the love, and you can just, like, go there and, like, have support from all these different people that are into the same things you are. And so it's cool to like all this stuff. I mean, it's still a little nerdy. I mean, I'll admit, I'm a huge nerd, but I'm proud of it. Never, like, used to be proud of it when I was younger, and I should have been. I should have been proud of it, and I am, and I always will be, because, cause, I mean, it's awesome. I got my, my giant Spider-Man poster back behind me, which is awesome. I love that thing, and I'm, I'm going to display it proudly, because it's something that I love, and I, and, and I always will. So, so hopefully we'll get a crossover, though. Like, I like the idea of... Uh, of having the characters on loan so they can appear in each other's movies but we still get the standalone movies or movies from other studios so yeah so we'll see what happens guess time will tell